Kim Kyungishan Dojian. If I made a face at the end of that, it's because I totally bit my tongue right after. Oh, that. Was, that hurt, man! I bit the very tip. Oh. oh. All right. So despite my injuries, I'm going to soldier on <laughs> by introducing our Zerg player in the lower left part of the map in the green from the team TSL. It is Shine, and in the lower left part of the map, in the blue from the team Vile, it is Hash. There we have it, guys. So yes. ZVT action on Shakur's Plateau. This is Hash's pick, of course, the way. As always, for those of you guys who are tuning in for the first time or uh, are unfamiliar with our rules here at Team Arena Challenge, every night is a best of nine all-kill format style, and uh, not only does the team whose player lost last time pick a new team, but they pick the new map as well. So this is Hash's choice, putting a supply depot up at the ramp there, uh, leading to yep. his natural. That's right. He's chosen to put that supply depot there, and he'll have to live with that decision <laughs> for the rest of this game, at least, if not I don't the rest know, man. of his life. I don't know, man. It's a big choice where to put your first depot, man. Well, not against Zerg. You're just like, I'm going to wall off, probably. <laughs> Unless you're a Korean Terran, and then you will put your like depot somewhere, and then you'll put your barracks like on the other side of the map. and Or if you're know. a jerk on this map like Artist is, mm -hmm. and you have supply depot up at the top, and then it's just straight up 11-11 racks down at the bottom. Oh. So Yeah, it's pretty popular, too. Pretty good build, but barracks and gas at the normal timing so far for Hash. So nothing out of the ordinary that, si that Shine is going to see when he comes in. Yep. Looks like uh, gas coming up. So, yep. And, uh, of course, Reactor to Hellions is the standard right now. So we'll probably get those, oh, yeah. but Hash could throw us for a loop later on. Yep. It's a pretty good map for Reactor to Hellions, too. I mean... There is the ramp outside the natural, yeah, but you can just kind of sit on that low ground out of range of whatever happens to be there and just deny creep tumors all day. And the third is quite far away as well, too. So it becomes, excuse me, it becomes a little bit difficult for Zerg to take that quick third if you can keep your Hellions alive and uh, active around that part of the map. And a little bit of a worker headbutt there, but... Um Excuse me, Hash is going to be pretty well prepared to wall this off with here us? in a bit. We're like burping up a know. storm here, man. Yeah, indigestion. I, I apologize, not, guys. Ugh. I did not. That's gross. But I did not drink pop really at all today. No, I don't I'm ever. Just water, man. I only drink water and tea anymore, so. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. Something in the air, maybe. Bad Chinese food. Who knows? No, we had really good Chinese food for lunch, actually. Yeah. That was good, man. That was good stuff. It's not yeah. exactly it did come out of a buffet, so it's not like it's the highest quality in the world. But you can have high quality buffets. Yeah, I maintain. All right, it's it's true. Well, you let's can. see here. Oh, look at that! Gets down the bunker just wow. in time. So starting and forcing a few drones off of the line right now. Our first uh, marine is making its way across, and very cute to throw that down at the last second. And look at that yeah. hash actually occupying the attention of uh -oh. the drones. Decides uh -oh. to go after the overlord. Run, overlord! Oh, it's too late. Oh, look Marine. how long he's, he's drawing the away. attention of these drones for, though, allowing this bunker to almost get finished. Finally, we have uh, a drone starting to tag the SCV, but it looks like that bunker oh. may end, but not before the SCVs, or, I'm sorry, the Marines are going to get killed. Yep, it's just going to leave the bunker there, and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to do any damage, but the drones did lose a lot of mining time there. Good start by Hashi, getting that little bit of an edge early on, and of course he will salvage that to get back his precious 75 minerals. In the meantime, Hellion expanding back at home. Yep. Yeah. And looks like he'll swap those in just a second. Has enough money to drop down his first couple of Hellions right away. And Shine, on the other hand, just putting up his one spine crawler, which he's going to want anyway. Yep. Knocking out the neutral supply depot, actually sitting on top of it and destroying the structure underneath his feet. Makes for an odd image. Yeah, just punching it until it's dead. <laughs> That's what you got to do to those neutral supply depots, man. That's what Zergs do, man. They're good oh. at it. And by the way, just in case you oh. guys weren't around yesterday for this, League of Legends has been getting some pretty good viewers for the IPL stream, which is, is great for them. I'm happy for them. Yeah. But I think we can do better. I, I do, too. I want to get. I want to beat League of Legends, man. Well, I want this rivalry to happen. So we're doing good. We've got like 8,000 viewers right now, which is awesome. But I want to see at least like 10K for this match, man. I mean, we can't let LOL have the satisfaction. <laughs> well, here's my goal. They hit 11K today on this little qualifier game they had. So we need to do better than that. We need to hit over 11K for StarCraft II. We need to beat LOL. So. Yeah, why not, man? We totally can. Yes. Yes, we can. So we uh, can. goal... Go wake up your grandma, roll her over, set her in front of a computer, and tell her to watch TSL versus Vile. Yeah. Or it is for elimination. The, She'll understand or that. Just bring it. Be a good lap. Uh, be 
what am I trying to say? Jeez, be a good grandkid, bring her the laptop, and let her watch in bed. That's so That's kind much of nicer. you. Definitely. That that is guaranteed to make her want to watch StarCraft. Oh, absolutely. So you can see what Hash is doing with these Hellions too. Kind of like I mentioned earlier, just kind of sitting at the bottom of the ramp, trying to uh, stop the creep spread. He hasn't been able to stop a lot because of the tumors on the high ground, of course. But overall, not doing a terrible job there. And let's see, his opponent did decide to throw down four gas yeah. at the same time. We have the Creep Tumors extending off to the right, but Hash doing a nice job of checking for those. So the Creep Tumor taking some damage there has to get canceled. Nice. Um, and Hash, of course, is sitting on a fully functional orbital command at his natural. He's not mannered it over any uh, SCVs quite yet or started the production there. Looks like there he goes finally. Yeah, it looks like Hash is going to go into just uh, Marines and Medivacs here for now with just a couple Hellions thrown in. Um, in the meantime, Shine is going to be playing very heavy two base, getting his lair, getting a macro hatch, getting Zergling speed. Might even see him throw down a Baneling nest before his uh, before his spire as well here, playing a, a very Lenok esque style, if you will. It looks like he wants to uh, establish his will on the map finally, so moves the spy crawler out to the low ground. It's going to force those uh, Hellions away. Power of just one spine crawler there. Second making its way up as well that uh, will hopefully allow Shine to expand over to his third. There's the Baneling Nest as well. Um, Zerg does need to play a little bit heavier two base on this map too, just for the reasons we've seen. You know, the Hellions out there controlling creep tumors, just the ability of Terran to kind of be out on that part of the map and stay safe. You know, I mean, yeah, as Zerg, you can make a ton of lings and stuff like that, and we have some Banelings to try to chase them away, but then that's just a bunch of drones that you don't have. Oh, getting that creep tumor as well. Um, Hash actually just playing this really well, playing this perfectly so far, in fact. And, he, and uh, Shine is just going to keep slowly pushing his way out there. He's got four Creek Tumors now, so once he starts moving those Hellions back, he can just layer them out there. But yep. Hash has already got a third base coming up. He's got a strong push of Marines coming out now. And uh, Stim done. Yes, it is. Combat Shield is on the way. Mm. So he's going to start establishing his will out there. Shine, on the other hand, he's got a few Banelings morphing in. And he's got a Spire coming up, but they're not finished quite yet. Yeah, Shine going for it with only Lings, not getting Roaches or anything like that as well and he's kind of caught at a time where he doesn't have a huge ton of resources to dump into a bunch of units and is he going to get there before the drop stops there are hellions on the low ground yes there are oh all right boy. so marines have made themselves up they're starting to individually stim and pick off a couple of overlords there here come the banelings picking themselves up a few zerglings are roasted but for the wow <laughs> whoa squeaky whoa. voice there no kidding but cast with mini mouse or something part. now wow Oh, oh, sorry I had to hit puberty right there. Um, but, you <laughs> Once know, was uh, enough. Why? <laughs> Shine did a pretty good job holding that off. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Ooh. I mean, the Banelings really kind of make the uh, decision easy for Hash to pick up right there. I mean, obviously, you're not going to do any damage with Banelings killing all your Marines. So, yeah, good decision by him there. And uh, uh, Shine right away repositioning those spine crawlers to be kind of anti drop things. So, Shine has done a really good job of uh, kind of holding off the aggression while taking a third here. He's really kind of putting on a clinic for how you do this as Zerg. But he's uh, not really out of the woods yet. Yeah, he's about, you know, 20 some supply ahead. But Shine still has a very strong army, has a very strong economy going that has not yet been touched. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, though, Hash, uh, three-base Terran is very, very powerful, especially as uh, Shine just finishing up his own hatchery, starting a couple more gas as well. Looks like he's ferrying himself onto the high ground to uh, swing around, picking up those Hellions as well. Mm. Pretty powerful amount of units sitting there, but, of course, his tech hasn't really hit yet. We see he invested in a lot of infrastructure add-ons and barracks and factories. Oh, my with his uh, Siege Tanks with Siege Mode coming up right now. Yep, Muta is coming across the map as well at this point to try to maybe do a little bit of harassment. We'll have to see. And there's a few Banelings in behind now, so we'll see how Shine wants to engage this. He's holding off for just a moment. He did lose a few drones there, actually, quite Ooh. a few. And he can't get those Zerglings in a tiny little choke there, nor can he engage with the Mutalist quite yet. There's too many Marines. Now he finally gets an engagement up the top of the ramp. Uh, Hash actually splitting up his Marines takes quite a few losses, and the Mutalists are going to be able to clean up the rest. Yeah, they are. Oh, he actually could have, but he didn't want to. Oh, yeah, okay. he's like, all right, all right, you only have four Marines. I can handle this. But one medevac, it looks like, will get away. Shine just, I got to say, doing a great job of making all his units work together. You know, he uses the Zerglings and uh, Banelings to force units back, let his, uh, let his Mutas come in, do damage there as well. So, yeah, quite well played so far by both of these guys, really. But uh, 
Looks like Shine is starting to pull a little bit of a lead in this game. Yeah, Hash has not felt confident to put down this Orbital Commands on the low ground quite yet. It's been sitting on the high ground for a very long time now, and Shine has a lot of presence on the map with those Mutalisks. A couple of uh, Marines dropping down now inside of the main. Spinecrawler taking some damage. He actually went after the uninjured Spinecrawler and ended up losing some Marines in the process. Oh, oh he's going to use it, lose the Medivac too. Very nice. nice. Snipe by Shine. And uh, yeah, Shine's starting to definitely take a lead in this game here. Uh, Hashi has been putting a lot of effort into harassing here and trying to do damage and hasn't really been able to take a third yet because of it. Mm -hmm. The game's far from over, of course, but oh yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, it, you know, here's the thing. I mean, one mistake with your Mutalisks and the game changes just completely. So Shine still has to, still has to be very, very, very careful. Um, Muta harass. Is, uh, can be a little bit tricky on this map just because the bases are so close together. It's a little bit easier for Terran on this map to put up kind of a defensive line of turrets and then fill in the gaps with Marines and things like that. So you need to be very, very extra careful, I think, with the muters on this map. You know, and Shine, he's saving up a lot of gas. He's not trying to get this overwhelming Muta pack that's going to crush his opponent's bases. He's uh, just saving that up for a moment. He does have an infestation pit on the way now along with his fourth base. Yep. So um, looks like he's banking quite a few resources at the moment and playing defensive. But look, great creep spread. You know, he's done really well at uh, defending small pushes and things like that. So he's in a pretty good spot. Oh, Lings and Muta's trying to chase away those Marines, taking out some creep tumors. But looks like he will kill a small group here. Okay, pulling back just in time, not losing a Muta. So Shine definitely walking on the edge here. And the first Thor is coming up as well. But as you can see, yeah, like you mentioned, Shine not going very Muta heavy, choosing instead to go very Ling, Bane Ling heavy while taking up to Infestors and Hive. This is kind of the other style. You see very Muta heavy sometimes, and you also see very ground heavy. And then that usually involves a little bit quicker of a Hive as well. Good Muta control there, pulls away just in time, and uh, looks like this drop is going to be seen right away. We'll see if he sends some Mutas up to go ahead and defend. I think he missed one it. One inside of the main? No, those Mutas just missed flew it, back. Yeah. Well, he's well, got another he chance know. to see it. All right. Watch your mini-map shine. There's a medevac <laughs> right there. Yeah, still not reacting. Yeah, well, and maybe see. now sending those mutas back, we'll have to see. Hopefully, as Hash is about to drop into the fourth here in a second. Uh, he himself, I do not believe, has a fourth command center anywhere, so he's just sitting on these three bases for a while, starting to move out to the middle of the map, picking off a few creep tumors, trying to make that recede as best as possible. Queens were sent out there to die. Uh, the drop came in, didn't do a thing, mm -hmm. cleaned up immediately by the mutalisks. Yep, that's right. Small group of siege tanks, but other than that, there's basically just a Thor and some Marines out on the map for Hash right now. Yeah, apparently that queen is hidden there, which is interesting, but uh, or at least just out of the range. Now coming back to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's die. not going to last so long. Bye bye. Yep. That's okay. Sad. That's Whoa. a lot of banelings, man. Yeah. Holy mother of God! All right, and is he going to use Burrow for any of these? We'll have to see. There are there are a lot of scans going down for Hash, so Hash knows the potential. And here we go. Here's the big attack. Everything getting a little bit clumped up in the middle, but will there just simply be enough banelings? They're just going to try and roll on through now. They're actually uh, just spending themselves on siege tanks at the moment. Hash yep. actually kept all of his Marines at the back. There's not a lot of banelings left, and the Mutalis could not press any further. But look how quickly Shine is reproducing. He's got Greater Spire coming up at the same time. Yeah, here we go, and he still needs to be a little bit careful. Hash trying to micro back, but will he be able to split well enough? That is so many Banelings. Oh, my God, and loses all of his Marines. A 50 supply advantage now for oh. our uh, Zerg player. Oh, oh my God. Man. Huge amount of economic damage done there. 20 workers killed, forcing this third to lift off as well. Yep. And uh, Hash running with a few units through the middle of the map. But <laughs> sorry, those are going to die too. And uh, Shine, wow, you know, holding that pressure at the beginning of the game and playing this so well the whole game through. Yeah, about 100 supply ahead. He did destroy that attack coming across the map from Hash. Controlled things quite well, as you can see. Didn't attack move with his banelings or anything like that. Chose to take out the tanks later on when he saw they were kind of clumped up, so it was like a little bit more economical than normal. But now the Corruptors have started hitting the field. The Greater Spire is almost done. 
He's got a decent amount of gas saved up, and it won't take him long to get the minerals to get some brood lords out. Oh, and getting the ultra cavern as well. All right, so just being yeah, saw that. very, very prepared for the late game here. All right, well, Hash is sitting on 42 workers right now, about half that of his opponent. He does have a few mules in play, of course, with his three orbital commands. Uh, this command center in the middle, though, that that's awfully exposed. Yeah. And it looks like Shine's just going to go for it. There's a couple of siege tanks sitting at the back here. We'll see if that's going to be enough here as uh, Zerklings, nope, just surrounding everything. That, that That's all it. dead. That's all dead. And that's going to be the end of the game, too. There's no way, really, that Hash can come back from this point. He's going to lose that command center. Now he's just basically on one basis because his main is mined out with a small army. And I think we're going to be seeing the GG very soon. There it is, GG. Yeah. TSL Shine brings TSL to a 2-1 lead here in this Team Arena Challenge match.